When these twins were delivered, the doctors and nurses couldn't keep themselves from taking photos. The difference between them were so rare. Now toddlers, here is what these boys are up to, and here is how they look now. While some twins are identical, others are not. Regardless of whether twin babies look alike or not, they are adorable. As for one twin, David and Daniel, the first words that would come to anyone's mouth upon sighting them is simply, wow. From their birth, these boys hadn't stopped turning heads and it's going to remain that way for a long time. You see, when their Nigerian parents, Stacy and Babajide, learned that they were pregnant with the boys, they were so glad they would finally have their eldest daughter, her much desired younger siblings. Friends and family were excited about the news, but neither of them could tell something extraordinary was on the way. Soon enough, Stacy went into labor and was wheeled into the operating room for a C-section. It was then that the doctors saw something like never before. Filled with awe, the doctors told Stacy her boys weren't identical. While she was expecting a very slight difference, she didn't even know it would be such a disparity that would eventually make people doubt if the boys are indeed twin brothers. The doctors had delivered baby Daniel first, so they told Stacy the second boy had golden hair. It was only then that Stacy looked in the direction of the boys and she met with the biggest shocks of her life. I looked down and saw David. He was completely white. I thought, how can this be possible? Just then, Stacy called for her husband and when he came into the room, he was equally surprised. The couple felt as if they had given birth to a miracle. In Nigeria, I have never seen anything like this. To be honest, I've never seen anything like this before in twins. They do look like brothers, but their hair and skin are just completely different, Stacy said. Shortly after the boy's birth, the news quickly spread and several doctors and nurses flocked to the boy's bed to take pictures of them. So what is so striking about this boy's appearance? You see, although they both have beautiful brown eyes, they have different skin tones and hair types. While Daniel has dark skin and hair, his twin brother David is the opposite. He has white skin tone and curly blonde hair. So why does David look so different from his brother? Perhaps he inherited white genes from relatives. Well, that's not the case. It's something even more fascinating. David was born with a condition called oculocutaneous albinism. Albinism is a genetic disorder that results in decreased production of a pigment called melanin in the skin, hair, and eyes, resulting in light color or no color. This genetic condition occurs throughout the world and affects 1 in 20,000 births each year. This condition is more prevalent in Africa, and 1 in 1,000 people have albinism. Right now, there are no figures available for the number of twins where only one has albinism. However, there have been similar cases in Mozambique and the Netherlands. Four days after the boy's birth, they were discharged and went home with their parents. When the little boys were introduced to family and friends, their instant reaction was, wow! So what have the boys been up to? A lot of interesting things, I must confess. In fact, they recently celebrated their third birthday, so let's get into it already. A year ago, this unidentical duo started school and the boys are doing really great. They enjoy studying and are top of their class. On their first day of school, their mom said, I have been looking forward to this day as it marks a new chapter in our lives. It's your first day at school and mama is super excited. What a day to be alive. I'm grateful to God for blessing me with both of you because you are my biggest blessing. Once the boys are out of school, it's like they are ushered into an entirely different world. Once outdoors, they get a lot of attention. People just can't stop gushing over the sweet boys who are now little celebrities. In fact, during festive seasons and family occasions, relatives request for the presence of the boys, and that alone is enough to make the event a fun one. I have to answer questions all the time when we're out. People say, excuse me, madam, which one of the kids is yours? I tell them both boys are mine, and people look at me as if I'm joking. Apart from the home and other open places, David and Daniel also get a lot of attention at their dad's work. Since they often frequent there, they won the hearts of staff and employees who often reward them with plenty of candies and matching outfits. The boys, now three years old, celebrated their birthday a month ago. On their social media pages, they shared photos of themselves in striking and similar outfits. Just take a look for yourself. Incredible, right? I think they look great in their white shirts and red bow ties. 
Sharing these pictures, their mom, Stacy, wrote, It's another amazing 365 days with my gift of many colors, the ones that complete me in every way and form. I had lots of tears while I was pregnant. How do I cope with birthing multiple kids? How do I share the love equally, the work and expenses? But how you guys came and made me forget all my worries still amazes me. Thank you for being my happy place. Thank you for being the best brothers to yourselves. The boys also had a swell time and visited several amusement parks. Sharing one of the birthday experiences, Nancy wrote, though the cruise did not end well, the boys forgot it was a rented car and refused to get down from the ride. David legit cried till he became pink. I had to promise to get him one. Now toddlers, the boys also have different personalities and interests. While David is more reserved, Daniel is outgoing and loud. Besides, his parents also think he will make a great comedian in the future. As for now, Daniel makes great and funny TikTok videos, and I think it will have you rolling on the floor with laughter, just like I did. Sharing one of his TikTok videos, Stacy wrote, Daniel is showing his skills already. Man, is such a good actor. While Daniel is such a good actor, David loves to dance and sing. Some of their videos on social media also show him dancing. In one video, his mom captioned, You can tell David just doesn't like to dance, but he sings a lot. So in other news, we have a musician and dancer. One thing about the twins is there is always the one who protects, cares for his siblings, and acts as the big brother or sister. In this case, Daniel is the big brother. Each time the family goes out, he constantly looks after his brother, making sure he's safe. But that's not all. The boys are also big fans of Power Rangers. While David loves Yellow Rangers, Daniel has a thing for Red Rangers. Spot them with their favorite characters at the third birthday party. Now, let's get to another fun side of these boys. Do you think girls are the only ones who love dolls? Well, you were wrong, because these boys love dolls, and sometimes even go to bed with them on their backs. Other than being best buddies and having a lot of fun, the boys also have caught the attention of several brands. So David and Daniel now influence these brands. Recently, David received a free package from a skincare foundation, whose goal is to ensure children with albinism do not develop spots on their body, which can later lead to skin cancer. An excited Stacy shares the news with the Twins fans, while also asking them to show support for the foundation. David is super grateful for this, she wrote. Right now, the extraordinary twins are living their best lives and receiving a lot of love, care from their parents and elder sister. Their pictures on social media show the boys hanging out with family members at cinemas, swimming pools, and beaches. These days, whenever the boys are outdoors, people would often tell Stacy and her husband that they wish they had twins like Daniel and David someday. Let's hope that dream comes true. It feels great to me to be their mom. It doesn't matter to me what color their skin is because they are my babies. It feels special to be their mother because they are a special kind of twins. I believe I'm blessed and I am so proud of them, Stacy said. One noteworthy fact is Stacy and her husband have never received any negative comments regarding the boys. Everyone always has adorable and beautiful words for the boys. In fact, what's there not to love about them? What do you think about David and Daniel?